questions? Well, you know that we couldn't continue on without mentioning Harry and Meghan's worldwide privacy tour. It's been on every channel on the internet. Surprisingly, I didn't see the commentary from Piers Morgan on this. I mean, you would think this would be one of the things he would just jump on. I mean, unless YouTube has, you know, given him a suspension or something. But, but yes, everybody is talking about it, and it's hilarious. Yes, it's quite funny. Um, so, in a way, people are saying, oh, this is karma, and we're sort of waiting for some kind of comeuppance. And obviously, it doesn't seem like they're going to get a comeuppance financially-wise. I mean, even though they're obviously not going to be as rich as the royal family. Probably never. So that will always gall them. So, I mean, even though they have best-selling books and high, um, highly watched TV shows, like I said, I don't think they're ever going to quite be as rich as the royal family. So they will be very frustrated about that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe they said they don't listen to what people say about them, but uh, there's a certain point when you should. Instead of crashing on into into disaster, you should have a general idea of what people think about you and the public sentiment. Yeah, judge how how things are going because I mean it, this way it just looks like they've been they're just ignoring everything and just in a little bubble of poor me, poor me, poor me, poor me. I mean you're a millionaires. I don't think that qualifies you as victims. Nope. Not much sympathy there. There's a lot worse things happening in the world. So no, I don't I do not think they're deserving of sympathy because they are they have everything they need. We will reserve our sympathy for people who cannot afford to heat their homes and are struggling to pay medical bills. We are going to reserve our sympathies for them and not a couple of spoiled rich kids. Yes, it is sad. They, rich kids can have mental problems, too, and emotional issues, and that is sad. But if they were really sincere, there's probably a thousand ways they could have dealt with this in a mature and um, classy way. What they have done is just plain crass. They have no class, and it's just they've exposed themselves as loony, loonies. <laughs> And I said, even the, originally, maybe it was split down the political middle, left versus right, but I don't think it even is now, because there's a lot of, I would say, the moderate left to the, uh, to the sensible left is, think, you know, what is backing away from them because they are just too off the wall. I mean, yeah, they, they still have a certain segment of woke, of woke fans that are going, that like them, but, um... But yes, I don't think anyone takes them seriously. And they do say that the one way to break the power of the dictator is laugh at them. <laughs> I mean, I think there was, I think there was a Father Knows Best episode whenever the son said he was, Bud was afraid of his principal. And the father said, oh, well, there's a technique. If you imagine him in his underwear, then you'll laugh and you won't be afraid. <laughs> so he imagines his principal in his underwear. So, I mean, this is sort of like what has happened to Harry and Meghan. They have been... Ah, uh, imagined, well, to be, you know, like I said, satirized and sort of taking everything they have done for the past couple of years and just put it all into one package, one cartoon package, and there you are. And, I mean, there's really, I don't think they can deny it, but we're going to wait and see. Uh, we don't think they would dare to sue South Park. I mean, obviously, if, like, Islam tried to take them down, I think they maybe maybe have, and did, wasn't able to take them down, why should a some, some whiny babies, whiny baby royals be able to take them down? And as we're saying, this isn't just the right. This is the left making fun of them. So whenever you've got both sides making fun of them, then that's when the time is to quit. So, uh, so I think they're starting to realize they have made some mistakes. Of course, they're not going to admit it. But they're going to try to do damage control, and their damage control, I don't know, they have to lay low. But, I mean, seriously, their brand has been terribly 
tarnished and tainted and destroyed by themselves. I mean, the point is, their book is not just dishing dirt on the royal family or journalists. It's dishing dirt on themselves. I mean, why would you talk about your private parts? That would be something uh, an enemy might do. I read a book about that. <laughs> and that would be, like I said, or perhaps maybe Harry and Meghan have split personalities. You know, one personality who is the victim and the other half of their brain that is attacking them. You know, those stories like the Three Faces of Eve or the different kind of stories, the schizophrenic type of stories. Maybe this is the case we're dealing with. Split personality. One half of their brain is attacking them, the other half. We don't know what's going on inside those heads, but it's def whatever it is, it's definitely been very well summed up and put together by the South Park episode that everyone is laughing about. So, yeah, I don't think they can really deny it. They can't say, deny I'm narcissistic, deny I'm vapid, deny I'm money hungry, deny I'm fame hungry. I don't think they can really deny that. We will shall see what they respond. But also, I mean, the royal family not being able to respond is probably the best thing for them because anything they try to respond, they would be drawn into the vortex of controversy and, you know, how these people always make, would make anything, little thing you say into something bad. Make your eye, your eyes look this way. They're like, oh, she didn't look at her. She snubbed. She was snubbed. Ah, you know, so it's really, it's got to be very careful, like I said. They're going to have to have lawyers present for conversations. But, um, but yeah. So, we'll wait and see what they, how they respond. It's a very accurate portrayal of them and the, uh, what the public think. And when I'm sure the woke crowd is quite boiling. But, maybe, as I said, the only comeuppances are not just financial. The comeuppances may be in, like I said, things like this, uh, personal, personal reputation issues. And, um, like I said, I don't, most of, well, most of us, we don't really wish them ill will. We just wish they would go about their business quietly, you know, and stop being mean to the royal family. But, as we said, that's how they make their money, so we shall see what becomes of that. Anyway, so there was definitely some some justice dealt out through comedy this past week, and um, we shall wait and see what happens next. All right. Thank you for watching. You take care, and let freedom ring.